As a reminder to guests here today, please stay off the field before and during the ceremony. Upon completion of the ceremony and recession of students this evening, fans will be allowed to come onto the field to take pictures and visit with the graduates. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated as we keep our focus on honoring our graduates tonight without any distractions.
Graduates, please be seated. I want to give a warm welcome to all the families and friends in attendance, the Anoka High School staff, and on stage with me this evening are Superintendent Dr. Kate McGuire, Associate Superintendent for High Schools, Dr. Josh Delich, and Anoka Hennepin board members, Matt Audette and Aaron Hears McCardle. Round of applause. Good evening, parents and guardians, grandparents, relatives, friends, and faculty. Welcome to historic Goodrich Field. Welcome to historic Goodrich Field. And commencement exercises for Anoka High School's class of 2023. My name is Michael Farley, and I have the privilege of being the principal of Anoka High School. I feel truly blessed to work with the best students, staff, and community in the state of Minnesota. I begin this momentous evening by giving thanks to each of you for attending our 151st commencement tonight and joining our Anoka family in celebrating our wonderful graduates. At this time, I'd ask everyone to please stand and join us in singing the national anthem. Graduates, there is no need to remove your caps. Other attendees, please stand, face the flag, and remove your cap as we honor America and those who serve with the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Thank you, Ms. Ashley Wongby. The voice of an angel, wouldn't you agree? Big round of applause for Ashley. It is now my pleasure to introduce Courtney Graves, Student Council President. Courtney is the daughter of Brian and Nicole Graves of Coon Rapids and is a very active student at Anoka High School. Courtney is the president of both the Student Council and the National Honor Society. She is also an active member in STEAM, Spanish Honor Society, and Rally Crew. Courtney is a strong scholar who has lettered all four years, was a special recognition award winner for mathematics, and will be graduating with highest honors. After high school, Courtney plans to attend the University of Wisconsin-Madison to major in political science and economics. Please welcome Courtney Graves. Class of 2023, today marks the end of an era. It is the day that we can look back on all our years here at Anoka High School and recognize all of the hard work, dedication, and successes that have amassed to this very moment. Now, many people would say that we are remarkable because we are the class of COVID. The class that went through remote learning and social distancing and made it through those unprecedented times. But I am tired of hearing this. 
because I believe that our class is defined by so much more than that. We are not just the class of COVID. We are the class that sent girls swimming and girls gymnastics to sections and to state. We are the class that sent both the wrestling and track teams to state. We are the class that got back the homecoming dance for the first time in seven years. We are the class that strive towards a more rigorous curriculum and therefore have eight AP scholars. And we are the class that raised the bar with some of the best capstone projects at the STEAM Expo. And while our class has achieved many great things, I do not believe that even this past will fully characterize our success as a class. Rather, I believe that we will be defined by what we all accomplish in the future, as the opportunity to impact the world is bestowed upon us. We are going to be the future doctors, politicians, and educators of the world, giving us the chance to transform and reshape communities around the globe. While I know that this great responsibility can seem scary, I also know that it is nowhere out of reach for a class like ours. There may be a lot of uncertainty on the paths that our lives may follow with all the years ahead, but that is okay. As Steve Jobs said in his commencement speech at Stanford University, you just have to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. It is vital to understand that it is okay to have doubts and to change your plans. Because if you follow what you are truly passionate about, you will end up in the right place no matter what. Way before I knew where my passions lied in politics, way back in the first grade, I remember being convinced that I knew exactly what I was going to be when I grew up. I remember we had a dress up as your dream career day and I came to school that day with a stuffed animal dog connected to a leash and I said with 100% certainty that when I grow up, I'm going to be a professional dog walker. Since this, I've grown up. I realize a lot more about the world and about myself. And I think for the better, I have since changed my plans. Class of 2023, the reality is, is we all still have a lot of growing up and realizing left to do. But do not let these uncertainties tyrannize your ambitions because now is the best time to cultivate your passions and grow into the person that you truly want to become. Have faith and go towards your dreams no matter how far-fetched they may seem. And while I know it can seem scary, I also know that it is possible. So let's show them, Minoka. We are not just the class of COVID. We are not just the class that had a good run in high school. We are not just a class that can be defined by a tiny box or a small list of achievements. Show them that we are the future opportunists, activists, caretakers, and builders of this world. Show them that we are the class that can do anything. Thank you. At least it's not a chainsaw. You'll read about that in my book someday. One more time. Thank you, Courtney. <clears throat> to the class of 2023, as I stated on your last day of school last Friday, as we sat in the auditorium to watch the senior video prepared by your classmate, Olivia, and shed tears of joy as we remembered this past year together. I am truly proud of all you have accomplished over the past four years. You have overcome many obstacles during this time and have remained strong and confident. You have stayed together and supported each other through the toughest times in American education. You have shown our community that you can do amazing things with resilience, fortitude, kindness, respect, love for each other, and a focus on improving your environment with your voices and actions. As I promised you, I will keep this short. This evening is about you and your classmates. You are prepared to take on any challenge that comes your way. And when times get tough, stand tall, be confident, look straight ahead, and move forward. 
I know in my heart that each of you has greatness within you, and I look forward to hearing about the many wonderful things you will do in the future. Class of 2023, go make the world a much better place, and know this, I love you, and I am so proud of each of you. Congratulations. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Anoka Hennepin Schools, Dr. Kate McGuire, who, we're, who will share some remarks with you. Good evening. This spring, we will have the pleasure of seeing more than 3,000 Anoka Hennepin seniors participate in commencement ceremonies that mark the transition from high school to the next stage in each student's life. It's an honor for me to be here tonight with all of you and to see all of your proud families on this special day. As the state's largest school district, Anoka Hennepin serves more than 37,000 students at more than 50 sites. Our families speak more than 160 languages and come from all corners of the globe. We are an award-winning school district with award-winning schools, and we continually seek to be even better. Today, seniors from Anoka High School receive their diplomas. Yesterday, graduates from Andover, Blaine, Champlin Park, and Coon Rapids High Schools all receive their diplomas. Graduates, the diploma that you'll receive you have earned through your hard work and dedication. I congratulate all of you and send you my very best wishes for a successful future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McGuire. Another big round of applause for her, please. The 2023 senior class speakers are Enzo Loois Calasada and Emma Milky. Our first speaker this evening is Enzo Laos Calasada. <laughs> Enzo is the son of Maria Laos Castillo and Alejandre Calasara Rodriguez. He is a very involved student at Anoka High School. Enzo has been an active member in rock climbing club, jazz band, theater, orchestra, chamber orchestra, film club, National Honor Society, Anoka Leadership Academy, and STEAM, to name a few. Enzo is also a strong scholar who is graduating with highest honors and is a four-year academic letter winner. After high school, Enzo is planning to attend Dartmouth College to study music composition and cognitive science. Please welcome Enzo Laos Calasada. If you would allow me, I would like to begin with a quote. I don't study to know more, but to ignore less. Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. This quote is important to me for a number of reasons, one being that it speaks to me as someone with Hispanic heritage, as the author of the quote is Latina, a Mexican nun, poet, writer, and luminary who revolutionized Latin American literature and culture. But it is also important to me because of the impact it had on me. Finding this quote gave me a, huh, moment. It rallied me and inspired me to approach life with a little more purpose. I hope that with this speech, I can take you through a similar moment. So here we are, the class of 2023, on the doorstep of graduation. But I'm not just talking about the students. As I speak to you today, I'm looking out at parents, grandparents, siblings, cousins, aunts and uncles, friends, teachers, and staff. You all make up as much of the class of 2023 as we do. Because, because of graduation, which marks a new chapter in our lives where we may end up far from home, 
impacts all of us in various ways and is the culmination of a journey that you all were a part of. I know that I would not have been able to get this far without the love and support of my parents and my younger brother, Luca, and all those who helped me along the way. And of course, the teachers and staff here today have undeniably shaped all of our journeys over the last four years. You have challenged us, inspired us, occasionally burdened us with way too much homework, and you have been mentors and lifesavers for many of us. But I have a question for you, class of 2023. What have you learned? And no, I don't really mean what did you learn in Algebra 2, not to knock on the math department. This is a question for all of you. What have you learned in the past four years of your life? Maybe it was a small lesson or maybe a significant realization. For us seniors, I know we have learned a lot about ourselves. Maybe about the kind of person we want to be or about who we are when faced with a difficult situation. Maybe we learned more about a friend or loved one and how to show them we care. Or maybe learned that we need to stop and listen and maybe still others of you found your voices and learned how to speak up for yourselves. Maybe we learned how to help the people in our communities who need it the most. I guess the point I want to make is that learning is never over. We don't stop learning when we graduate high school or when we graduate from college or get a job or even when we're 70. We never stop learning. In a way, that's what life is about. As long as we're breathing, our understanding will continue evolving, deepening and shifting and changing. But here's where the quote comes in. I don't study to know more, but to ignore less. When I read this quote, I asked myself, why do I learn? What am I doing with the knowledge that I have? I believe we should all always seek to learn as much as we can about as many things as we can. But I think even more important than that is what we do with it. I want to ask all of you, what are you doing with the lessons you have learned in your life? What are we avoiding and allowing ourselves to ignore? Sometimes it's easy to think that we are powerless or that our thoughts don't matter. What can we do in the face of things that seem immovable, unchangeable? But we need to remind ourselves that change doesn't usually happen in leaps and bounds. It happens in small, everyday, person-to-person -person interactions. And we all have the ability to commit to little changes in the way we do things, the way we talk to people. We can choose to build people up and share the knowledge we've gained. That's a real, tangible way that we can use the things we've learned to make the world a better place. To my fellow students, we have an incredible opportunity here. An opportunity to go out into the world and be intentional about how our ideas and actions affect others. We have to go on to the rest of our lives hungry for the knowledge we need to make the world a place worth chasing our dreams in. Class of 2023, as we continue with our own paths through life, I would invite you to approach things with those concepts in mind. We all have knowledge, and we can all add value to the lives of those around us. Every single one of us has the power to change the world. The trick is to do it together, helping each other along the way. It's been a pleasure, Anoka. Best of luck to all of us. Another round of applause for Enzo. Each year, graduates from Anoka High School receive thousands of dollars in scholarships from colleges, universities, corporations, and national foundations. On May 16th this year, there were over 150 scholarships presented, not including the Wallen Scholarships and the American Legion School Awards. 
The scholarships were from local individuals, families, businesses, and organizations within our school community. The amount of scholarship money given locally was over $180,000. In addition to these scholarships, there were seven recipients of the Wallen scholarships and nine page scholarships. We sincerely thank those local people, businesses, and organizations for their outstanding support. They are listed in the back of the program. Let's please give them a big round of applause. <clears throat> Our second speaker tonight is Emma Milkey. Emma Milkey is the daughter of Adam Madsen and Jennifer Milkey. After graduation, Emma is planning to attend the University of Minnesota School of Nursing. While at Anoka, Emma participated in volleyball for three years and was a four-year letter winner in academics. She is a strong scholar who has graduated with an AA degree from Anoka Ramsey Community College and is graduating with highest honors tonight. She is an active member volunteering as a coach or at the animal shelter. Please welcome Emma Milkey. Coming up onto the stage, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one who can say that honestly I'm scared. I'm scared of leaving my comfortable bed, my cats, the friendships I've built in the last four years, the teachers that are like parents to me, our community, all of it. I'm afraid that the second I step off at this stage, I'm gonna be met with an endless staircase that I'll eventually fall down and be incapable of getting back up. But as I was listening to the radio in my car one day, going through my normal, Oh my gosh, I'm graduating high school, I have to be a real adult now, what am I gonna do, crisis? A beautiful, familiar piano melody catches my ear. Vienna by Billy Joel starts playing, and even though I've grown up my whole life listening to this song on this particular cold spring day, it felt like it was crafted specifically to alleviate all my fear and anxiety. It was like the song's meaning had been unraveled to perfectly encapsulate the feeling of graduation. Even though I enjoyed the song before, it was just now that it finally made sense to me. Vienna starts out with a beautiful lyric. Slow down, you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. But then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? Anoka graduates, although it is completely normal to be scared right now, I want you to know that we should not be afraid. We have faced setbacks, adversities, and obstacles all throughout our high school careers but we have always persevered and overcame them with pride. We have showcased our ambition and our drive, along with our commitment to our education and our community. And today is a testament to our hard work and dedication. We should not be afraid of life's challenges because we have learned to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and keep moving forward. We stand here on the cusp of a fresh chapter in our lives, ready to embark on new adventures, challenges, and opportunities. <laughs> Even though we should be so excited for this opportunity of personal growth, as we leave this stage, it feels like we're all expected to go immediately to the next big thing, to move on from high school and turn over a new leaf. During this, it feels like we have to race to the finish line of life, and like we have to base our own self-worth on the acceleration of our progress, comparing ourselves to our peers and being nervous about the expectations put on us by others. But the song Vienna also reminds us that we should all take a step back, breathe, and not rush to get everything all put together and tied up prematurely.
Fianna's second verse starts off with saying, slow down, you're doing fine. You can't be everything you want to be before your time. Graduates, we are all doing fine. We are all exactly where we're supposed to be in life right now, and we have to relish in our youth. Although it is so exciting to think about graduating from university, starting a family, moving out, and rising to the top of our careers, we have to remember that all of those accomplishments will come when they're supposed to. We need to have time to figure out the people we're supposed to be first build core memories, lifelong relationships, and make mistakes in order to learn from them. There is still plenty of time, there is still plenty of time to figure out what life has in store for you, so do not be afraid. Billy Joel ends his song by saying, Vienna waits for you. Anoka graduates, I hope we all leave this field feeling free, knowing that not having your entire life planned out right now, planned out right now is nothing to be fearful of. Your goals and your journey wait for you. No matter the challenges you face, the mistakes you make, the forks in your path, you will overcome them and end out on top exactly when you're supposed to. Great job, Emma. One more time, big round of applause for Emma. Honor students are recognized tonight, both on the program and by various distinctions. In the class of 2023, we have 286 total honor graduates, 68 highest honor, 70 high honor, and 148 honor graduates. Big round of applause for them, please. It's time. At this time, we are ready to issue the diplomas. <laughs> Superintendent Dr. Kate McGuire, members of the school board, family members, and guests, I present to you the Anoka High School class of 2023. They have satisfied all of the requirements set down by the Minnesota Department of Education and also the requirements of the school board of Anoka Hennepin School District. They are now prepared to receive their diplomas. Ms. Erin Ayers McArdle, as member of our school board, will you please accept the class of 2023 on behalf of our district. Principal Farley, the members of the Anoka Hennepin School Board are proud of the young people of the Anoka High School class of 2023. We are grateful to the parents and guardians of the graduates for their support. On behalf of the entire Anoka Hennepin School Board, it is with great pride that I accept the class of 2023 and commission the awarding of diplomas. Thank you, school board member, Ms. Ayers McCardo. We are now ready to present the 2023 graduates. We ask that you hold your applause until all names are read. Even though it seems to be the trend at various graduations, we ask that you refrain from yelling. We want all families to hear the names of their graduates, and out of respect for all graduates, we want to make sure that all names can be easily and clearly heard. Let's get it out of our system. One big round of applause for our 2023 graduates.
guys? Ready, guys? Here we go. Rage Abdi. Prince Will Abbey. Zachary Abramson. Jack Adolfson. Olamide Afuri. Salma Agobi. Justice Alquist. Fatima El Hamid. Patrick Albers. Henry Allen. Layla Alm. Michael Alziebler. Emily Amaya. Grace Anda. Austin Anderson. Hunter Anderson. Jake Anderson. Keely Anderson. Elena Aragon. Aliyah Arndt. Gabriel Atchison. Ethan Austin. Naomi Azamar. Madeline Azubike. Annika Backman. Jenaba Ba. Isabella Bailey. Elizabeth Baldwin. Ethan Balikalaba. Grace Bangle. Samantha Barland. Carolyn Barrett. Ryan Barthel. Dylan Bartley. Jaden Beard. Cameron Burl. Isabella Bolio. Jenna Bizey. Caitlin Bello. Blake Bennett. Brooke Bennett. Sage Benson. Miranda Bergeline. Nicholas Bergstrom. Andrew Bessonen. Jalen Bakta. Sal Bjornberg. Nathan Blake. Caden Blanchard. Alicia Bleasy. Aiden Bleayang. Colton Blondin. Jack Bowler. Abigail Boho. Isaac Boho. Bryce Boland. Bridget Botno. Shane Botita. Jake Bowen. Nicholas Boyum. Nicholas Bragg. Stephanie Brand. Amaru Brown. Emily Brown. 
Griffin Brum. Samaje Brown. Josie Brown. Jacob Brinnison. Valeria Burek. Kyan Burns. Zachariah Burns. Olivia Buxton. Danny Camposeco Camposeco. Nicola Kanu. Emma Carba. Melaine Carba. Lauren Johnson. Casey Carl. Braden Carlson. Dianara Carlson. Sarah Carpenter. Hillary Casola Lopez. Ashley Castro. Denari Carter. Hayden Caesar. Elora Chamberlain. Konghua Chang. Sarah Chang. Grant Chapman. Madison Sharon Van Wagner. Albera Shebley. Sawyer Shell. Olivia Chenoweth. Karina Shinakilo. Dane Sitch. Awa Sise. Arthur Clark. Kylie Climb. Shannon Cole Hill. Alexis Collette. Lauren Comerford. Kennedy Ann Connolly. Thomas Combe. Christopher Cooper. Dylan Cooper. Danil Kasovan. Claire Cotton. William Check. Jason Dolan Yates. Jacob Danielson. Jacob Davis. Adam Denny. Caitlin Dennis. Alexandra Diaz. Martavian Dillard. Olivia Dodge. Amanda Doe. Ellen Dorst. Hunter Doucet. Rebecca Dowd. Chloe Dowd. Benjamin Dewar. Abby Dusterhoft. Alexa Dusterhoft. Stephen Godwin. Iris Lee. Owen Panning. Dylan Rowe. Marie Carmel Ebba. Janae Edwards. 
Amin El Baba. Elijah Elliot. Emery Elliot. Gabe Ingebretson. Callie Evenson. Jacob A. Young. Monica Fairchild. Abdirahim Farah. Brooke Fashing. Benjamin Ficcolello. Haley Farrick. Richard Finstead. Rylan Fleischman. Mackenzie Flickinger. Caitlin Floating. Elizabeth Flores. Hannah Folstrom. Filippo Foti. Emmett Franzwa. Hannah Freeman. Max Frolander. Misa Frolander. James Forsman. Isaiah Garabeku. Carlos Galindo. Caden Gallo. Olivia Galvin. Sarah Gatlin. Carissa G. Samuel Gendro. Elijah Garads. Estrella Herman. Silvia Guitamo. Addison Glass. Andrew Gadu. Christopher Gull. Matthew Goldenstein. Kevin Gomanuk. Elizabeth Gonerman. Nina Goody. Skyla Gracer. Joshua Grasky. Courtney Graves. Davian Green. Joseph Greasy. Kay Gronwald. Stella Gronsky. AJ Gratberg. Logan Grub. James Grusel. Allison Gutzler. Ruth Guy. Landon Haben. Mason Haben. Maya Hegarty. Hannah Holbach. Harmony Hammock. Samuel Hanks. Amber Hansen. Danica Hansen. Callie Harris. Berlin Hardy. Issa Hassan. Alexander Helmbrecht. Nicholas Hemkin Jensen. Ella Hennis. 
Elise Henry. Sankeo Her. Lewis Hurtling. Amanda Hess. Bryn Hyrung. Emily Hines. Devin Hirsch. Annika Yelly. Diego Hodgman. Haley Hoffman. Mason Hoheisel. Maxwell Hoheisel. Jorge Holguin. Kaylin Holt. Hannah Hookham. Marcus Hovan. Leilani Howard. Fred Hubner. Mariah Humble. Malachi Hunter. Amelia Husbeck. Tyler Icarella. Faustina Ibekwe. Callie Jacobs. Kevin Jacobs. Emma Jacobsma. Mark Jefferson. Praise Jubinor. Caden Johnson. Cadence Johnson. Carly Johnson. Daniel Johnson. Gabriel Johnson. Peyton Johnson. Roman Johnson. Cameron Jolstad. Brooklyn Jones. Zachary Jones. Logan Jungling. Calvin Jurek. Brandon Kerker. Sydney Casper. Matilda Kowicki. Nolan K. Maxine Kima. Samuel Keppel. Abby Kipe. Kao Sawan King. Jude Killian. Caden Kimmel. Caetano Joe Kinua. Peter Kipka. Austin Klein. Andrew Clocker. Grace Knudsen. Isaiah Knudsen. Megan Kokish. Beauty Kokulo. Nadir Condor. Sham Kwame. Jenna Krako. Ivan Kretsu. 
Tatiana Kretsu. Elena Kriz. Eva Kruger. Ruby Kruger. Lily Ku. Avery Kutches. Michaela Quatera. Enzo Laos Calasara. Emma Lambert. Navarius Lanza. Colin Landy. Jacob Larson. Lauren Larson. Hannah Laskowski. Avery Leedens. Carly LeBlanc. Carolina Ledvinkova. Sadie Liram. Elena Levkovich. Christina Lewis. Lance Lewis. Eldiana Lilich. Claire Lind. Ethan Lindberg. Christian Lindgren. Rory Lingen. Claire Lockwood. Madison Loftus. Jeremy Long. Bodhi Look. Anna Lauren. Samara Love. Logan Lucas. Brooklyn Lundy. Kyle Lee. Mike Harris. Daniela Mutima. Andrew Macedo. Ariel Macklett. Adeline Macias Rojas. Sienna Mater. Nathaniel Manning. Brady Marchand. Joey Tana. Paige Caslow. Brian McCallson. Haley Martin. Sheridan Martin. Paige Martinson. Logan Matichuk. Sorry. Anna Matthews. Katrina Matson. Lilia McAllister. Aiden McCarty. Michaela McClintock. Isabel McDonald. Ian McDonald. You did that on purpose. Caitlin McKay. Madison McNamara. Ashlyn McNeff. Maya Mechtel. Richard Minert. Dawson Melbo. Victor Mendoza Rodriguez. Alexa Meyer. 
Emma Milkey. Benjamin Miller. Sophia Mitchell. Ashraf Mohammed. Emily Monson. Barbara M. Toa. Samantha Mushangi. Reese Mulke. Samantha Murphy. Mira Massell. Tate Nar. Shaylee Nash. Matthew Nastrum. Christabel Dedge. Aaron Nysis. Ashley Nelson. Daniel Ness. Adriana Nicholson. Ella Nissen. Jonathan Nordeen. Molly Norling. Ingrid Norquist. Luther Norris. Nate Nasco. Michelle Nayaboke. Joyce Nayakundi. Madison Onstad. Olamida Okunola. Carter Olson. Redwan Omar. Garang Omal. Dylan Angaga. Hayden Orr. Mora Osumo. I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait. Anna Sophia Palmquist. Daniel. Palmquist, Emma Peranto, Sam Pasica, Lajor Paul, Elijah Paulson, Morgan Powman. Maddox Pentala. Alexis Perovich. Amy Perovich. Sarah Persad. Freya Personius. Tanner Peterson. Christine Pham. Grace Pearson, William Pitch, Adriana Pitchka, Seth Pepke, Donald Pra, Maria Pratumtong. Joseph Pratchner, Christian Quam, 
Arthur Line, Coquay. Victor Radiv. Logan Raj Malakowski. Andrew Rasmussen. Kate Rockbauer. Hayes Redepenning. Sarah Redepenning. Reagan Reeder. Isabella Reichenbacher. Samantha Richardson. Braden Rincon. Cody Robertson. Isabel Raider. Chloe Ruggi Gibellino. Savannah Rondo. Liv Rostad. Tristan Rothram. Nicholas Ruiz Cota. Amelia Running Zeese. Spencer Seba. Elizabeth Salo Severson. Katrina Santers. Jacob Sapp. Hunter Saunders. Mackenzie Scanlon. Eli Schmidt Bauer. Sophia Schmidt. Brendan Schneider. Aaron Schomer. Yeah, they're going. Peyton Schuft. Paige Schultz. Alexander Schumacher. Isabel Schwebach. Isabella Seaman. Allison Sheldon. William Shepard. Finn Shoemaker. Colin Shoup. Keegan Seacheck. Nathan Siebert. Daniel Seedy. Mackenzie Simmon. Macy Scar. Anders Scarpel. Sela Slog. Amber Smithwick. Greta Sowens. Shailen Sowey. Cassandra Solomonson Johnson. Estela Sopchek. Alexander Spouts. Megan Spurndle. Caleb St. Hilaire. Kendall St. Hilaire. Emma Staple. Austin Stefan. Ryan Steinhilber. 
Jaylene Stone, Kate Storbacken, Tatum Stowe, Ariana Strand, Coraline, Coraline, excuse me, Strobelite, Elena Stromgen. Jason Sucadeo, Jaden Swanson, Logan Swanson, Tristan Swanson, Sophia Tafoya, Calvin Takanen. Sarah Taubert, Emily Taylor, Samuel Taylor, Eliana Taylor Kittleson, Frederica Tito, Jonathan Terhar. Panucci Tao, Sean Tao, Noah Thielen, Kendall Thinnis, Caden Thompson, Dallas Thompson. Ashley Thorson, Aiden Thorston, Emma Chosis, Sophia Torgrimson, Ismael Torres Arroyo, Alex Torunsky, Kenneth Trepto. Brooklyn Triplet, Margaret Troyber, Kelvin Tumbo, Golden Uhumwabi, Riley Umland, Danielle Ure. Maya Amanda Vang Renoa Vang Sierra Vasquez Lacey Villeen Tyron Vercanis Yelena Vlasiuk, Alan Vocati, Maximus Vu, Melakai Vu, Dylan Walrath, Vincy Walsh. Carter Watkins, Jessica Watson, Lane Wayman, Carissa Webb, Braden Whaling, Austin Weinrich, Ethan. Wellman, Julia Welsh, Lane Work, Savannah Westby, Ellie Westrom, Samuel Whaley, 
Andrew White. Lauren White. Connor Walinski. Riley Wilder. Dylan Winkle. Aiden Whippick. Matthew Wise. Tamia Withers. Bradley Wohler. Marley Wolf. Ashley Wongby. Ethan Woody. Haley Woody. Avery Wallet. Ching Zhang. Benjamin Yang. Yurana Yang. Yurani Yang. Lauren Youngquist. Suleiman Youssef. Logan Zakrishek. Cameron Zimmer. Elliot Zimfer. The class of 2023. One more time, class of 2023. Relax, graduates. In closing, we will now have a vocal ensemble sing God Bless America. Families and guests, we ask that you please remain seated and stay off the field until all graduates recess out of their seating area. You will be allowed on the field after the ceremony and recessional for many, many pictures. Students, please remain seated until our concert band begins playing the recessional. I love you and congratulations, class of 2023.
They're a group that has constantly been moving forward. Um, lots of ob obstacles put in their way, but moving forward, moving forward. A thing that I, that I think of when I think of the class of 2023 is how close this group is. favorite memory would probably be this year's basketball season. That's probably this year. Uh, Mr. Farley, he came in um, and there's this giant wrestling ring on the first day of school that was like put in the middle of the field house and he like wrestled these two guys and he, he like flips this guy like all in and completely just like straight on to like the floor and it was like the craziest thing I've ever seen. A memory that stands out to me throughout my high school experience has to be when I was in Mr. Machula's class and I received an email from Questbridge which was going to determine whether or not I got a full ride scholarship to Carleton. So I was nervous obviously, hands were shaking and I clicked on the email and I got it and I was like screaming in the class and no one had any idea what was going on. Most thing I'm proud of is probably how much I've grown from like freshman year to senior year, especially with COVID. I think seeing everybody come out of COVID, um, I think there could have been a million ways it could have gone. I think the way that our class took it, per, like took it as people and as a whole, was amazing. What I'm most proud of is definitely making a, like, a good group of friends that I know that will stick with me after high school. I uh, made a lot of memories with them. Three words to describe my senior year is probably eventful, relaxing, and unforgettable. Fast, eventful, and fulfilling. Exciting, different, and um, fun. Exciting, fun, and encouraging. Fun, adventure, and exciting. Unexpected, fast, exciting. Challenging, exciting, and finally I think relaxing. This group has been a fun group to work with. Um, they, they find ways to overcome some of the toughest things that have been thrown at them. Over the last four years, they, they've dealt with some of the most chaotic things in our society and continued to grow close together and be ultra supportive of each other. Something I'd say I'd always remember is just kind of how close-knit everybody is. Um, we all just feel like a connectedness when you just go through the halls. Everybody's kind of like, hey, how are you? Something I'd always remember is just the community we have. Everyone is just so nice to each other. The Anoka family is just something no one can experience anywhere else. Something I always remember of Anoka High School is the connections in the main lobby. Uh, meeting up with everybody after classes and like seeing how everybody combines. What I'm really looking forward to um, upcoming years is like the new adventures that I'm gonna have. I am most looking forward to just meeting people from different backgrounds.
What I'm really looking forward to is just like experiencing life, you know, outside of high school. I am most looking forward to new experiences, learning new things and acquiring new skills, and making new friends. Meeting new people in college. I'm looking forward to kind of getting out there, being independent, kind of doing what I see my future to be. I want to meet a lot of new people, kind of find my path, and just see where life takes me. So class of 2023, uh, you will be missed, um, but I must tell you, I'm excited for you to go out into the world and use all of the things that you've learned, um, your resilience, your supportiveness, your positive attitude, your uh, great academics, your many, many skills that you bring to the table. Um, you're gonna take those out into the world and you're gonna make it a better place for all of us. Um, and as I know, um, we're gonna be in better hands knowing that you'll be leading us into the future. Congratulations, I love you, class 2023. Feels just like four